Hi, my name is Chanjay Vapramunsky, and I'm an application engineer for Go Engineer. For those of you who use routing within SolidWorks and you have the routing add in available, you know that SolidWorks provides a vast library of various different components that we can just drag and drop onto our models, and it has some intelligent information built in so that it can help within the routing parameters. But what happens when you want to add in your own custom components to this routing library? So here I have a part, and I'm going to go ahead and add this to my routing library. So in order to do this, I need to make sure that I have the part open, and then I'm going to go to Tools, Routing, Routing Tools, and Routing Library Manager. And once I'm in the Routing Library Manager, I want to go ahead and click on Routing Component Wizard. This is going to allow me to go ahead and add in any type of components that I want to add into my routing library. And I can choose anything for the electrical routing, piping, tubing, miscellaneous, and user defined. For this aspect, I know I'm going to put this on my electrical circuit board. So let me go ahead and click on electrical, click on next. And this is a connector, so I'll go ahead and click on connector. And don't worry about this preview. This is just a preview of a stock connector. It's not relative to um, your specific part. This is just letting you know that it's recognizing it as a connector. I'm going to click Next. Now, the first thing we need to do in adding in our connector, we want to go ahead and define the connection point, or what's known as a C point. Um, notice here that it does say that one or more is required. So in order to add it, let's go ahead and just click on this add button. And it's going to automatically switch back over to the model itself. Now here in the model, you want to make sure that you have some predefined geometry set up. For this particular part, we want to go ahead and make sure we have a plane and a sketch point on that plane so that we can tell it where the C point is going to be located and starting from. So once you have that, just go ahead and click on the plane itself and the point we want to add on. And notice that it does give us a little preview of a line here. And this line is going to be where the routing conduit is going to be going through moving forward. You can choose from various types of route types. Because we're doing an electrical part right here, I'm going to go ahead and choose electrical. And I want to go ahead and make sure that I set the parameters correctly. So the diameter of this tube that's going to go through here, it's going to be 0.1 inch. And the, the length of this stub section, I'm going to go ahead and make it about a quarter of an inch. And we'll add on an additional 0.5 inches as well. And I'll go ahead and click on the green check mark. Once I've done that, it will automatically jump back into the routing library manager. And we can see that the point that we've added is right here on the wizard. If we wanted to add on any more points, we can go ahead and add that on as well. Um, you'll see a little legend right here on the bottom just to denotate that you've completed um, certain actions. So because this is now green right here, we can see that this means that we've provided required geometry for this. Once we have that, let's go ahead and click on Next. And if you have any type of special geometry that's required, you would fill out some information here. But for this example, we don't. So we'll go ahead and click on Next again. And now we want to go ahead and add in a mate reference onto this part. Now a mate reference is useful because it will automatically apply mates when we drag and drop these components onto our model itself. You might have seen this in various other videos that we've had. This is showing you how to do the mate reference within the routing library manager, but you're more than welcome to do this beforehand. If you did it beforehand, it would go ahead and recognize that information right here on this window. So for the time being, let's go ahead and click on Add. And now we just need to start telling it references that we want to capture. So the first reference we want is going to be this face right here. I'm going to make it a coincident mate, and I'll say anti-aligned just to help with the alignment a little. The secondary mate, I'm going to go ahead and rotate this part slightly, and I'm going to choose this inside face. And here as well, I'll make it coincident and anti-aligned. And the third face 
that I would like to apply, I'll go ahead and choose this face right here. And just like the other two, we'll make it coincident and anti-aligned. We'll go ahead and click the green check mark. And now we can see that all of our mate references are present within this model. And we'll go ahead and click on next. Now it does notify us that part modeling is complete. So we can go ahead and click on next to this window. And if we have any specific file properties that we want to go ahead and add on to the part, we want to make sure that we put that in here. So once we've satisfied and added in all the requirements that we want to add in, go ahead and click on next. And now here we can now tell it a name for the component. So let's go ahead and call this side female clip. We need to make sure that we store this in the same location as the other routing electrical components or the other routing components if you're doing this for uh, the piping and tubing section. This is located under your program data, SOLIDWORKS, SOLIDWORKS 2016, design library, routing, electrical. If you don't see program data underneath your C drive or your installation drive, you will need to enable hidden folders because this is a hidden folder by default. Once you enable hidden folders viewable, you will go ahead and gain access to this directory. Go ahead and save it there. We'll go ahead and click finish now. We'll click yes to this. And we get a notification that says our save was successful. And we can go ahead and close out of this uh, routing library manager and exit this. And once we've done this, when we want to start adding it into our model itself, let's go ahead and do that real quick. I'm going to add that side clip right here. So now I can go ahead and go to my routing design library and under electrical, I see here that I have my side clip. All I need to do now is just drag and drop it onto the model and notice that it automatically creates mates to this lead and will start into the auto route option. This is Charn by Fremonski and I hope you enjoyed this video on how to add custom components to your routing library. Mm -hmm.